this is Toy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for weekly videos. And thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you being here. In this video, I will be sharing with you my wash day routine. And I will also share with you the current products that I'm using. And one of them is a product that I received from Influencer, which is the Evercream. I think I showed you those products in a previous video, the haul video that I did. And let me tell you, I'm very excited about those products. I began my wash routine by detangling my hair. Whatever style I've had um, the past week or two, I will go ahead and take that down and detangle with a wide tooth comb similar to this one here. And I will shampoo my hair with the L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Free Moisture Care System um, with apricot oil. And it looks like this. When I say that this is a, a good shampoo and it's only $7.99, I think. Um, of course, I received it free from Influencer, but I'm so glad that I was introduced to this shampoo because it really does a good job cleaning my hair and it leaves my hair feeling moisturized and not stripped. After I shampoo, which I've been doing this for the past few weeks, it hasn't affected my hair. Some people may be protein sensitive, but I have been okay with using protein um, every time that I wash my hair, which has been every one to two weeks. Which when I thought about it, I, it was something that I did when I first started my hair journey and I just stopped doing it. So throwback routines. And this is the protein conditioner that I use. Well, it's the Apogee Keratin Two Minute Reconstructor. And it looks like this, I'll apply this and I will use a clip to clip it up so the product will stay in my hair while I take a shower or shave or something like that. And I don't leave it on long at all. It's really for about two minutes that I leave this on. And I think it does, it helps me to retain the moisture because I feel like my hair is a lot more moisturized when I use a protein treatment before it. And this one is a light protein, it's not a hard protein, so that's why I'm okay with using it every week or every two weeks. It's not something that I would not use a hard protein treatment every week. After I rinse the protein treatment out, I have been conditioning twice. And I think it has been a game changer for me. Um, I will go ahead and moisturize with a regular conditioner. I don't leave this one on long either. I do the same thing. I just um, pin it up with a hair clip. So this conditioner is also a good conditioner and I think it's also $7.99. It does a good job conditioning my hair after I've used that protein treatment. And my hair is very easy to detangle and I really like this. I will be purchasing this again. Then I will deep condition with this L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Free um, Renourishing Butter. So the next day I will go ahead and rinse the deep conditioner out in the shower and I will squeeze the water out and I will follow with aloe vera juice. And currently I, I use a spray bottle and the one that I have in here right now is the George's aloe vera juice which i will not be buying that one again i don't think it gives as much slip as the fruit of the earth aloe vera juice so i will be purchasing that one again and the leave-ins that i'm currently using right now is the jane carter solution revitalizing leave-in conditioner this stuff i think it was also a game changer for me since i've been trying to put the moisture back in my hair and the crazy thing about it is I've had this um, product for a while and I think I just forgot about it and I recently found it and I it's pretty good. So I will spray my hair with this leave-in, not a lot, just a little, and I will follow it with the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream which has been a staple for me since I started my hair journey and I love this product also. 
Now the thing that I, I've been doing different too is instead of sitting under the dryer with my deep conditioner, I go and I sit under the dryer with my leave-ins. Because I thought, um, you know, if I'm going to sit underneath the dryer with the deep conditioner, then why not try to sit underneath the dryer with the leave-in? I'm leaving this conditioner in my hair. I'm not rinsing it out. I'm not doing anything afterwards. And I thought that that may be more beneficial to keeping the moisture in my strands as opposed to doing it with the deep conditioner that I'm rinsing out. So this has been a game changer for me and I love the results. I don't have to put any moisturizer in my hair if I don't want to because I let these two sit um, under the heat. And if I'm not able to sit underneath the dryer, I will go ahead and put the shower cap on my head and just let it sit in for a little while. And the heat, the natural heat from my body will kind of warm it up and I do still get the same um, results. And I really love it, y'all. This is really a game changer. My hair feels great from um, put, applying a little heat to my leave-ins. Even though my hair is moisturized, after I do the leave-ins, I do go ahead and moisturize and seal the following day. So this is what, three days I spent on washing my hair, but it's okay though. It's a process, it's a routine. You have to figure out what works for your hair. After I've done my wash day, I probably could go two or three days without moisturizing, sealing my hair because it is so freaking soft. My hair has been so soft since I've been doing this routine and I love it. I don't think I'm gonna switch it up anytime soon. I may switch the product some, but just because I'm a product junkie and I like to try different products. Plus, I have a lot of products that I haven't used that I recently bought, so I will be continuing this routine, but I may change up the products. So, that's basically my wash days routine. And if you have any questions, just leave them below and I will definitely answer them at my earliest. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.